Hello. I'm just taking a look at some of this new ideas that we have up here. Whenever we were talking about in science about independent variables and how uh, every lesson, every new lesson that you try is like an experiment. And the independent variables are what you would look at. And even life, everything you do in life, you have to be like a scientist if you want to keep improving. So this year, one of our independent variables was to take exit slips, which I converted into entrance slips, turned it into homework. And um, these are their, their um, entrance slips for October. But these are the ones from September. So in order to do this justice, I have a stack of papers from 30 kids that thick. And I don't really, I mean, I, I check to see how many of them they turned in, but I also want to check to see the quality of them. And um, obviously, like, there was about 19 entrance slips, let's, let's say about 20 times three, it's like, about 600 slips. And I don't want to have to read 600 slips of, you know, construction paper. There's, on each one of these, there's a doodle, each slip has a doodle, a um, a statement, and a question. I just say I want a doodle. No, I want a statement, a, qu a statement of some insight that you had throughout the day, a question that you might not have had answered, and a doodle. And so I give them a basic score of did you have it complete? And if I just look through it quickly, will there look like there's any real insights, or are they just kind of like shallow statements that you didn't really think through? So if I look for a couple of these, it says, um, um, everyone that starts a race doesn't always finish it. Being responsible is very important. And on this day, she said, people have fire in the beginning of things, but not always the end. That means you might be excited about something initially, but then, oh, and what she was probably saying that for is because I told them we were doing the word find beast in like 20 20 kids asked, or 25 kids asked for a book um, in order to participate, but only three of them are really challenging and trying to be really awesome with the word finds. So, um, yeah, these are some cute little doodles. Uh, and a doodle, what would a doodle look like? What is better for the environment, tape or glue? I think almanacs are really useful. Almanac, calendar, and a computer. So here's a doodle of a computer and an almanac and a calendar or something. So, yeah, she had some pretty uh, decent insights. Usually she has a lot of really deep insights in class, so I expect her to have good uh, insight slips. It's good, it is good to aim for more than what you are worth. Excel over 12 smiles, aim for perfection. Start acting small, but get bigger. And this was in September 21st, in the beginning of the school year. So, this is a good one. Um, I'm not going to tell you the students' names. We don't have nicknames on these, but I, I should tell them to put their nicknames on them next time if I do this. A statement that this boy put in October 1st was, fish eggs also can be made into pigments. Because we were talking about um, how Native Americans used pigments and where they got their pigments from. The uh, question is, does squid ink contain pigments? And uh, they doodled in Native American times when they used fish eggs and... Uh, and you know, other things. Responsibility is one step towards problem solving. Very good statement. Do cells exist in water? Well, yeah, I could answer that one right now. Algae and bacteria. Uh, why is wood a cell wall? Uh, I told the kids that anytime you see wood, that's actually the, the, rep, the remaining cell wall after all the organelles dried up and everything and shriveled up. You still have wood, like in the form of desks and, you know, wood, pencils. The, these are cell walls, and so he wrote down, down that as an insight or something important that he learned in the day. Uh, here's another student. I learned the different ways to make a complex sentence. And uh, he asked the question, do you think we will get the IXL award this year? And I told them last year and the year before they won, our class won the Elite 100 uh, classes of all of um, the entire world. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to win it this year because I'm not going to push the kids as hard on IXL. I'm going to be really light and mellow and stuff. How did Mr. Le Mr. Mr. Eric the Elephant get so good at Connect Four? That's one of the questions that he had. Um, I learned that there was a thing called a compound subject and predicate. That's nice. I'm looking for some deeper stuff, people. 
I want to see if I got somebody with a real deep question. I mean, this girl, she says, I finally figured out what associative, commutative, and distributive laws meant. Um, oh, here's a good, important question. What is the difference between a Charlotte Macala and a Macala ukulele? I took one of my Macala ukuleles and painted a black widow on the back of a signature on the back of it, like a big red hourglass sign. And I call that my Charlotte, like uh, Charlotte's Web. Ooh, here's a good question. Who's Bob Dylan? I never even talked about. Did I talk about Bob Dylan? Folk singer from back in the day. Um, I learned to make a fraction diagram. Was that insightful for you? Okay, good. How did Native Americans tell stories if they didn't have a written language? Mm. Because they had to pass it from generation to generation. See, these are good insights and good questions to ask. Now, later on, my decision was, since I can't actually address all of their questions, we would pass these around to the other students in class and say, as a closing or a closure type activity, I says, since there's 600 here and I obviously can't do justice to every single one of these slips of paper, since there's 600 of them, um, they should take these slips home, jot a couple of answers down for some of the questions, and um, try to see what other people found important. So. Say, you know, if I had stallions, I'd let, you know, stallion is a nickname I do remember because they're the word find beast. And as she borrowed Mr. Nike's uh, set, then they would look at each other's and say, hey, you know what, let me, let's talk about this. It says, oh, well, you know, that was pretty important. I remember you said this and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I do have an answer for your question about who Bob Dylan is. You know, he's a folk singer that was popular back in the day. And so, you know, that's one way I would close it because even right now, I can't read all of this. This is insane. Decimals are actually money. Nice. What degree does Mr. Lee have? Liberal studies degree. It's a teacher's degree. So that's kind of funny because we talk about college in class. I learned about how Indians adapted to different environments. Cool. Uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, what caused life to occur? I like these questions. Marco Polo wrote a book about Asia. So, you did Legos last year? Mr. Lee did a Legos, or, you know, uh, Eric the Elephant did um, a Lego system last year where the kids managed the Lego system. And they're all excited, but I didn't say I was going to do it with them. They have to earn it. Decimals are fractions. Uh, so, these are all good questions. Does resources affect your culture? Do resources affect everything? Um, resources only affect people and animals. They don't affect, the, you know, a block of wood doesn't worry about whether they have enough resources, so it doesn't affect everything. And um, wind doesn't care. You have to be a living thing to care about resources. Oh. Today I learned in math that if you put the decimal point in the wrong place, it will change your answer completely. Hmm. I also learned you must put a unit on it. These aren't terribly insightful. I'm waiting. See, this is their first effort. I want to see it get real deep. And um, I learned they carved kachina dolls out of cotton wood, not clay. I also learned that the kachinas were being introduced. They, they were 50 cents. Now they're like $500. I also realized that the original dolls and tribes were from Arizona. And he drew a picture of the god of the sky. Oh, these are really great. These are really great doodles. Look at these doodles at the bottom. I mean, he put some effort in there. See that? Okay, this is good. I learned more things about resources, such as the USA is so successful, they go and make stuff beyond the basic needs, while other countries will be struggling to get their basic needs. I also learned that I am spoiled compared to people in other countries that are less fortunate. I also realized this land had many resources in the start to live with. And spoiled vis people versus uh, unfortunate people, which might still be living with the polluted water. That's actually in the doodle, polluted water. Um, and then over in America, we have technologies to work from and all that good stuff, televisions, entertainment. And you got to be really appreciative of what you have. And I really push the kids to be just simply appreciative. I really try to make, make them understand that, you know, you're starting from a really, really good foundation if you're living in a country like this, and you should appreciate that. 
Oh, that's a good question. What conflict is there in Syria? If you just open up the newspaper, you'll see a million different things about Syria. Um, I learned resources don't, resources don't come easy in some places. Yep. I really want to see the Kachina dolls. This is a totally different student. I hope I get my... Oh, and eventually the um, our principal had Kachina dolls, and he showed them off to our students, and we made arrangements to do that. It was pretty awesome. Um... I'm still looking for a real <laughs> statement. Wednesday, Wednesday folders make your arms sore, probably because he's constantly helping me. This student helps me with managing the Wednesday folders. Uh, do all countries hate the USA? Not all, but some do. <laughs> we were that was September 11th, so we talked about that in depth. I, I thought I'd be able to get through at least one thing in each person's. Who discovered writing? That's a good question. Why did George Bush get elected president? Doodle. Iraq war. With a microphone. Iraq war. Real simple. America is named after Amerigo Vespucci. Does Amerigo have a middle name? Doodle. Amerigo Vespucci. Cell, Cells is a good song. Can we learn more songs about Cells? Sure, why not? Ah. How do they ride the great Travoy in the plains? I don't know. That's one I'm not sure if somebody else could answer. Oh, plot diagrams. Picture day was super loud. We learned that. Are there other plot diagrams? They all generally look like this. I learned connect four strategies today. Does anyone in this class beat Mr. Lee this year? I think one person might have. But we only play during rainy day. What does jeer mean? I mean, you look at somebody funny. Ooh, two entries about Kachina dolls. I learned what a meter is in poetry and English language arts. What are some ways to think of a title besides using alliteration? And they show a little picture of a girl playing ukulele because we do that. Um, I learned that in a grid, instead of making 1,000 squares, I could draw 100 and say that one square equals 10 out of 1,000 or 10 out of 100. 10 out of 1,000, yeah. That's pretty clever doodle. And I showed them you could condense the idea and make a little grid and do a little legend and just say one box equals 10. And then you can draw 1,000 squares by just drawing 100. How much Fahrenheit does it take to melt a diamond? Ooh, you could look that up. Nucleus is essential for life. You better believe it. What is the difference between Republican and Democratic? Oh, there is so many differences between Republican and Democratic. I'm not even going to go through that right now. Spider webs really are thicker than it looks. And what is inside the piece of thread? Typically, it's silk. Everything is made out of cells. Does it mean that cells are the first organisms on Earth? Can a cell be an organism? Single-celled organism, yep. I learned that biased means to favor a person, place, or thing. Is lithium extracted from the ground? Wow! Finally, I got some really deep stuff. Whoa! I learned how to find people's weak spot in tennis. Can missiles backfire? Sure, of course they can. Why wouldn't they? It's like you blow yourself up on accident. I learned to control my emotions. What are EV3 bricks made out of? I don't even know. You must be studying some other stuff outside of the classroom. How do cells have such thick layers? I learned now that amoeba, or a, I learned how amoeba move. I made them read a, a book, um, one of those little mini books that they give away or give out to uh, teachers about certain science topics and whatever, and I made them race or speed read two books, and then we had a game show, and he learned about amoebas and how they have false feet, and, and then they go like wrap some 
some nutrition up and start consuming it. Can our newspaper have any format? Oh, that's going to be later. All right, that's going to be later. Now this one wants to learn the, earn the top 100 award in IXL. I don't know if that's going to happen. We really have to push for it. When do we have the social studies test? Oh, come on. you got to get deeper, deeper insights. That's not deep enough insights. I learned that it is not what you know, it is what you learn. Do we need a case for our ukulele? Oh, come on, guys. That's not a deep question, but the first statement is not bad. It's not what you know, it's what you learn. Absolutely. Can we write a story instead of an essay? We did that. This was earlier in the year, and we did a story. We're doing a cell story narrative. Someone who is getting spoon-fed ideas doesn't get their own ideas. So this person that's not spoon-fed makes a spaceship. The spoon-fed ones just says, oh, blah, blah. Nice little doodle on the bottom of that page. See, this guy is making a spaceship over here. And this guy is just like, blah, blah, saying things but doesn't know how to do anything. Don't be spoon-fed all the time. You can be a little bit spoon-fed, but take the training wheels off eventually. A compound sentence can, can, be, can also be a complex sentence. How are some ways you can be more persuasive? Well, hmm. And then you even have a doodle here of a person that says, maybe I should. Persuasive essay is one of the things that we have to do in, our, in uh, fifth grade. You could be more places persuasive by providing proper evidence for your arguments and your reasoning. How does place value affect how you say it? Oh, okay. 9-11 was a very tragic day. Yeah, we know that. Today I learned... Okay, Amerigo Vespucci. I learned how to take notes in a very concise way. Good, I'm glad you figured that out. Uh... I learned how to add you unlike denominators. Good. I want you to be more insightful, though, because this is just stuff that, you know, unless this is brand new to you and it blew your mind. Today I learned what the respiratory system, circulatory system, and digestive system does. Okay. I want more exciting stuff, something that really blew your mind. If not, you need to dig up more exciting things to, to talk about. Who was the first optometrist? How many paragraphs does a summary usually take up? Well, it could be five. Five is a good average. Can cells be in non-living things? Wow, yeah, after it dies, it's non-living. Like wood. Wood has cells, but the cells are dead. And a guy that just died, it's a non-living guy, but he still has all these little animal cells in him, so he's not dead, right? How do chloroplasts absorb sunlight? Chlorophyll seems to like them. Chlorophyll seems to like sunlight pieces. I like that. It's cute. Why does sand and silicon melt and become clear? Oh, that's a question I've always had. Why? How is it possible you get clear, a clear window pane from melting glass? Because it's an amorphous solid or something like that. You'll learn about that in fifth grade eventually at the end of the year. Why do anemones sting? Clownfish like them. Okay, that's true. I actually like these. These are so cute. Why does caffeine make you uh, make you uh, stimulated? Cocoa beans only have a little bit of caffeine. So she's learning some things a little bit outside of the box here, and I like that stuff. Is darkness a cool thing or a bad thing? Humans don't like it because we're afraid of what might be in the dark. It's not that we're afraid of the dark necessarily. Why do coffee beans have caffeine? Cocoa beans don't have caffeine. You already said that. Don't repeat yourself. Why are the terrorists so cruel? It does nothing to them. You're going to have to follow more of the format, though. Why don't eclipses happen every year? There was a lunar eclipse, re eclipse recently. Why don't eclipses happen every year? It needs to have a turn. It needs to have a turn. Eclipses need to have a turn. This girl is like the super doodler person of the class. Finally... Or not, maybe not finally, but of one of the last ones. Uh, commutative property is when you have to switch numbers. Yeah, that's good. What is a signal to pa let passive transport know when to go? I like these doodles. 
You can smell food because food molecules are floating in the air. See, I just use a brad. We just use a brad now. We started by using rings, binder rings, and those were too heavy. And now we just use a brad, and it works really well. And I told them you can, in the next one, you can no longer write all the way to the end, otherwise the brad will make a hole in it. Um, you can smell food because food molecules are floating in the air. That's a great epiphany. What is the signal to let the passive transport know when to go? When we're talking about cellular transport, active and passive transport, she was curious about. Um, well, typically, I mean, it just depends on the membrane, right? Walking requires energy, and she got a little dog here. Nice doodle. Walking does require energy. It requires glucose. I love these doodles. Two-step problems with fractions. I learned two-step pro one-step problems with fractions. Why doesn't nature provide the basic needs already for people? And there's a cute little picture of a person teaching fractions. But yeah, um, because if it's not challenging, you don't deserve it. And if you're not challenging yourself, you don't deserve all the good stuff. That's why nature provides a test for you. Uh, this is different. I learned about good health. You must eat good food and exercise to be fit. Nice doodle. Mister, uh, Our principal showed us some nice Kachina dolls. They are important to Hopi culture. What is Hopi culture? <laughs> a fixed mindset is a mind that think mistakes are the end of the world. So I, should, I actually taught what is a growth mindset, but they said, what is a growth mindset? Well, it was all about growth mindset. Growth mindset is not being afraid to make mistakes. Okay. This is a good one. Why did the Bering Strait disappear? Water was once glaciers. True that. All right, so I wanted to make sure that I gave him a little bit of a shout out. So I don't know if I'll do this often, but I'll at least do it once. Um, I'm looking for more depth though. Overall, uh, this is a good first effort and they're gonna learn from this and learn that, you know, Wow, Mr. Lee might actually, or my teacher might actually read this in front of the world. And in that case, I might want to do a little better because, you know, he might say something about it. But I'm looking forward to seeing what the October ones look like and whether or not there was a huge improvement over what we did this September for the month of September.